Lexus RZ450e is the first all-electric vehicle from Lexus. In this video, Autoblog senior editor James Riswick shows you notable exterior and interior design elements, talks about the in-car technology and hits the road in San Diego to describe what it's like to drive and how the RZ ultimately falls short compared to other luxury EVs. Some brief details, the RZ450e is mechanically related to the Toyota BZ4X and Subaru Solterra, and is similarly sized. It has far more power from its two motors, though, electric range is not particularly good, coming in at either 220 miles or 196 depending on wheel size. There are no performance or battery upgrades available. Transcript James Riswick, Welcome to sunny and warm San Diego, and the Lexus RX 450e, which is the Lexus answer to the Toyota. BZ4X and the Subaru Solterra, which is the only one not named after a washing machine. Now, because this is on the same platform as the BZ4X and the Solterra, you can really see it in the dimensions. The same kind of silhouette is present, has the same wheelbase. It's a little longer, but that is kind of the result of the different styling up front. And if you go outside this electric platform to the other Lexus SUVs, it's about the same length as the Lexus RX, roughly the same height as the Lexus NX. So it's just right there in terms of the compact to midsize SUV segment. Now, let's talk about some of the details up front here. So just like the RX, the RZ has the new Lexus spindle body that has a body colored panel up here instead of a grille. Doesn't need one because it's an electric car. But on other versions, such as this one we shot earlier, the grille, as well as the hood, is black, and it goes into the all black roof. Now, this car has the base 18 inch wheels, but the one we shot earlier has one of two available 20 inch wheel options. So let's talk about the rear. Like the BZ4X, this does have a more radically raked back window, as well as a lift gate. That is for aerodynamic purposes. It also, as Lexus says, provides a, quote, coupe like silhouette. And because it's coupe like, it doesn't need a rear wiper because coupes don't have rear wipers which does mean that if your water is just building up, it's just going to sit there for a bit. Because of the aerodynamic properties of this car, the air will actually wipe it off for you to some extent. And part of the reason it does that is because these guys right here, vortex generators, which serve as a sort of rear spoiler. So it has the same sort of aerodynamic properties that you would get with a full spoiler. However, it does not have the detrimental effects in a crosswind. Spoilers, the wind can actually come up and create uplift at the back of the car in a crosswind. With these, that won't. Lexus happen. RZ450e is the first all-electric vehicle from Lexus. In this video, Autoblog senior editor James Riswick shows you notable exterior and interior design elements, talks about the in-car technology and hits the road in San Diego to describe what it's like to drive and how the RZ ultimately falls short compared to other luxury EVs. Some brief details. The RZ450e is mechanically related to the Toyota BZ4X and Subaru Solterra, and is similarly sized. It has far more power from its two motors, though, electric range is not particularly good, coming in at either two.